I just want to start off by saying if you don't mind, please leaving a like and a subscribe. That would mean a whole lot to me. And without further ado, let's get this started. So, first off, what's going on through my head? I'm kind of give you a rundown of what's going on uh, as I'm fighting these fights, going through the motions. Maybe if you want to learn some tips and tricks to help you win more fights in Apex. Um, for starters, I'm looking up. I noticed that there's one squad landing on the other side. No one's landing around us, so that means they're going to be landing later than I am. Way later. Way, I mean... I'm gonna have a weapon before they do. I know that. So, notice right away, they land over there about 200. And the first meeting point is either gonna be right here, around to the right, or right through this door. And sure enough, boom, there it is. A tap tray. Try to avoid some bullets. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then, you know, hit him in the face afterwards. Go ahead, try to finish him off. But, I hope you see it coming. So when I tap strafe, avoid, try to hit him up a cut, but instead kick him in the face. Boom. I should have been dead, but luckily the charge rifle was helping all day. Then we go, we fast forward a little bit. I noticed that my teammate kind of jumped down and just dip around weed. And sure enough, as I'm looking down there, I hear him starting to pop off some shots and he gets kind of lit up a little bit. Go help this guy. I know ammo. So right here, I already know two things is gonna happen. So I know this bloodhound's gonna try and run me. I use him as a shield, to try and absorb some bullets. Next thing I think, make him come from back there. If he hit any of these shots, I was dead. He didn't hit anything. So, there we go. We go, we run through that. Easy dubs. Kind of do a little bit of looting. And then, on to the next fight. Kind of scanning around, too, as I'm... I said it in the corner, kind of baiting him a little bit. You know, don't want to be the, the person that they light up on when they see. Go outside, loot some more, and then I'm like, alright, I'm done. It's almost gone. So, the first thought was to kind of go into the center area over here that I'm looking at right there. But then I see, oh, that's outside of the circle. How about we don't? And then that's when I kind of noticed a little glimpse at the bottom right there that someone had went inside that building. And then, boom, right there, I get a late scan. And so after I get that late scan, that indicates that there is a squad here and there's someone by themselves. So I try to find them, poke them out, there he is. Excuse my aim because that was trash. But I noticed that this Valkyrie is 100% oblivious. And so I'm just shooting her in the back. She finally realized where I am. Tap strafe. Boom. And just like that, I already got what? Maybe three kills I don't know four kills five kills I don't know there it is five kills and all all that was just easy damage so we do a little bit of healing up here kind of looking around kind of looking at all the high points I want to keep this vantage so that way uh you know I don't I don't drop immediately down go healing and then someone just running up on me so I kind of look around a little bit make sure that no one's coming from behind us from the uh the storm and sure enough, no one is. So, I'm like, alright, bet. Shortly after this, we go, we just head up to the uh, little forbidden zone, forbidden area with, you know, the little stalker pit. And right away, my teammate notices the enemy. And so, I'm like, alright, bet. About it. And so, away from him, I notice that he hasn't used the zip line yet. And sure enough, should have waited. Cause I knew I knew if I baited him a little bit, I wouldn't I wouldn't have caused as much attention. But sure enough, I'm kind of peeking this area over here. You know, peeking around, checking my surroundings. And then that's when I kind of notice, I'm looking around, like all these doors are open, so at any moment someone could really run up on us. So I'm really looking around for that, but. They're running into that building, so that's a perfect spot to go ahead and pinch him out. Sure enough, he used the zip line there. 
instead of pushing on that building, we pushed on this one. And then this is where we hear the bombardments. These boys are playing rat style. I mean, they just decided, hey, why don't we take a caustic? We'll take a rampart. We're gonna board up in here. You're gonna come in here, you're gonna have to kill us. Which I'm not afraid to do. So I'm kind of looking around, I'm trying to get in on some areas. There's like some windows over here I'm trying to peek up on, but I'm noticing that there's no good ledges. So I'm like, all right, let me see what's down here. Kind of look, I noticed that he throws that caustic ass down there. So I was like, all right, not even gonna go that way. Force my way back up here. And then I kind of looking at him like, hey, is this really happening? <laughs> Sure enough, he was like, yes, yes it is. So, <clears throat> I'm kind of looking around. I'm like, all right, let me make sure no one's about to push us because we're about to cause some, some loud noises over here. The stalker's about to come this way, everything. So, we're trying to avoid getting ran up on. So, all right, let's make this quick. I noticed that he's in there and kind of piecing him apart. And I don't want him, I don't want them to tag me. So, I look through this little crevice right here. I'm kind of just waiting, lurking around, see if I can get a glimpse at one of their heads. Sure enough, they just decide to to peek right there, right through that corner. I was like, ooh, no way. I should have been able to hit better shots, but it's terrible. But while I'm distracting them up here, they're distracted. He knocks one. I decide, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's run up in there then. He's throwing that. I'm realizing he's gonna try and go for the revive. So I'm like, all right, bet. You think I'm afraid to push up in this gas, boy? I'm about it. I'm about, about it. I send the corner. Noticed her through the gas. He tries again. I'm like, uh uh. Found him. Nope. Go ahead, finish that. And then he just bull rushes me for some reason. Why? I don't know. But sure enough, like I said, looking around, trying to make sure I don't get any squads or cause too much attention. And right after this, I'm getting that bad feeling. I'm like, hmm, it is way too quiet. And there's 11 squads left. 10 other than us. So, yeah. Tell them, hey, let's hurry up. Let's loot. Let's get up out of here. Right? There's a whole squad to the left of us, right of us, sorry. Just waiting, getting ready to pounce, pounce in on us. And little did we know, I'm pretty sure that was the same squad that we're gonna see here at the end a little bit later. Get up on a high vantage point. It's in a storm for right now. Kind of look and make sure no one's up there. I kind of baited him right there. I wanted him to go first. I'm a bad teammate, but he's a rando. So it is what it is. Sure enough, I noticed a whole squad coming and flying in, and I'm like, oh, that's money. I'm like, bet. Ooh, and that means that there's a caustic laying around somewhere. Exactly. Sure enough, two seconds pass by, and there's some fighting going on right here about midway through. Now, my stupid self thought, hmm, I'm like, I don't know, maybe like 200 yards, 300 yards away from them. Why don't I fire at them? with no accuracy let them know where i'm at like what so i'm like all right let me not do that <laughs> get a little closer get a better shot and sure enough homie just not even looking beat him up for 67 tag him again for another 25 and i'm like all right bet it's now or never push tap strafe out of that and then back up to heal somehow when i tap strafe out of that i 
don't know how, but I managed to avoid that whole EMP. And then I noticed that my teammate was not so lucky. He gets down by Bangalore. I'm like, nope. And then sure enough, this Bloodhound is trying to pull off the self res. That's nine kills right there at that moment. I'm like, alright, bad. I know there's other squads around us. We get the quick revive off. And then sure enough, within like two seconds of me just walking away. Try and heal up just a little bit. And I noticed that there's someone right in front of me. I was like, ooh. Line him up for about 98. Somehow whiff that one, whiff this one. And then my teammate came in for the clutch. I'm like, alright, bet, thank you, because I'm trash. Back up a little bit. The whole the whole thing about all this that I'm backing up, healing, backing up, healing, treating every person like with with you know a separate fight. You know they're the same team. So I'm noticing I'm like, alright, bet. We just got lit up again. This homie shot a drop of mortar on me. Nope. I'm like, ooh, this is bad. Shield swap. Let me get up out of here. Could have shield swap in that box right there, but I was like, nah, it's not even worth waiting. I just dip around and hide in the corner, and I'm like, all right, I got a syringe and no med kits. I'm either going to wait for them to not be above me to start healing, or I need to find a med kit because doing multiple heals is way more risky than doing one long one. I'm looking around. Kind of hearing the footsteps above me. And then sure enough, I noticed I have a glimpse. I was like, Ooh, what is that? It's a mech kit. Sure enough, run over there. Grab it. Literally, pure luck. What are, what, like, what are the chances that that was still there? Honestly. Go ahead, heal up ASAP. Just on the off chance, I did find someone up there. Luckily, I didn't really need it. But... Go ahead and switch those shield batteries because the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your shield battery ready. Army swap. Trying to get up out of there. I'm looking around like, what do I do? I start to get up up here. And I was thinking about going up there to go res them. But all of a sudden I saw whoop, someone flying. So I was like, ooh, I don't know. I was like, you know what? Let's go. Mama didn't raise no wuss. Throw a heat shield down just on the off chance that you know he doesn't make it in time for the storm because the storm is coming this way now. So, I'm like, all right, be okay. Keep my high vantage point for as long as I can. I want to hold this high ground, kind of look around, see, see what potential fights are going to be around me. Waiting for my teammate to drop just in case he gets pushed on as well, you know. Try sliding down, completely missed, by the way. And then to my right, I noticed that that's a fuse. So I'm like, all right, let me keep control. I'm gonna let him, you know, loot. And I'm gonna take control of here, kind of keep him at bay. And sure enough, it was the same squad from earlier that I was telling you about. This dude beamed me. I mean, ruined me, son, from that far, too. And so I was like, all right, let me stop. <laughs> Did some control, kept him at bay. Some shield up here. I'm like, all right. You need all this more than I do. I'm good. Except for that light ammo, that's mine. Kind of telling him here, like, hey, you're gonna have to sit back a little bit, kind of let them gain some more distance, keep, keep them going that way, because I have my ult. I don't want to push up too late, so I'm like, let's take our time. Realize that there's an ultimate accelerant right there, we can go ahead and use it just in case we need his zip line. So I know he didn't have it already. Kind of let him do that. As I'm doing that, I'm kind of scanning around for where I know squads are. I know there are squads to that right that we were just at. I'm kind of looking at that area over there. Thinking, hey, we should probably, you know, land up over there. Sure enough. So I'm looking around. I notice that there's a squad to our left. Two squads to our left. Two squads to our right. No, a squad to our right. And then 
really it was about keeping control of the squads to the right and then finishing off the squads on the left because she kind of landed right in between them so i'm like all right bet excuse my terrible aim by the way and got no ammo so i'm not really trying to you know push or fight that too hard at the same time i noticed that these dudes over here fighting and they're out you know they're on the ring of the storm now they finish that fight i kind of do that to kind of separate them away from their loot because i don't want them to grab their loot kind of do that to keep him at bay and then he thinks i'm worried about them but i'm not i turn around i try and keep control of these people and oh my goodness did i get lasered bro that was it, it, it was bad i told you man this this one dude was just running me but sure enough i'm like hold on wait just a second he thinks he's about to pull off this for us. I'm like, screw Patty. Hey, you can stay right here, bro. I don't care what you do. He's like, no, this enemy's right here. I'm like, screw you, dog. Pull over there. Hit him with a Valco. Oh, well, tactical. Hit that hit the guy who was knocked. Flick it. Flick it. All because of the tap strafe, baby. I know, and yes, I do notice that there is a Mastiff in there. Don't think I don't know that. I suck with the Mastiff, though. I'd much rather have that gold armor. And so I take that. Go ahead heal up, because I'm going to try to have quick heals than long heals all day. Pick up all that light ammo, because that's mine. And sure enough, it's a 1v1. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling cracked right now. Like, I, I, I don't know what is up with me. I'm like, dude, I just hit 2k. I got 12 kills. One assist. I just got to finish this off. This, this is light work. And sure enough, it was way too late. I couldn't contest them too hard because I didn't want them to run up in that building. And I should have contested them, but they ran up in there quick. So I told him, hey, drop the ult. He drops the zip line. He waited for it. Sure enough, I'm like, all right, bet, let me get on top. And I'm getting lasered. But it's cool. It's a Watson. And the thing about this building right here was that there was not good peeking spots. Like, I was hitting them right there, but... Whoop, cracked the shield. Sure enough, both ways I was just getting, you know, blasted on. I'm like, if you want to camp behind that door, I'll break that door down. Just so you can't really stay there and, you know, open it, fire, close it, you know, kind of play with the door. Nah, run, run that whole door out of the equation. And so, kind of peeking right here, looking around. I'm like, let me see what's going on. Sure enough, see that Watson. We're both going at it. I'm like, all right, this is a move. So, I'm trying to think... I wanna, I wanna be able to peek them, but they're just doing very good jobs at keep, uh, keeping me at bay with the peeks. I'm trying to, I'm trying to shoot them from in between there, but I absolutely whiff like all of my shots. I'm like, dude, what's going on right now? I can't be doing this. Homies keep me at bay with the mortar and that, like, I can't really peek them from there. And sure enough, they run downstairs. This is where you kind of hear them playing with the, the traps, and they kind of got me because I was just sitting there peeking, waiting. And this is what I should not have been doing. Instead, I should have been looking around. I should have noticed from that slide right there that that was a shadow. Because I noticed, but I didn't really say anything. I'm like, what's going on? And then sure enough, in a little bit, I'm going to get beamed from like behind. percent missed that too i'm just whiffing entirely it's the last it's the last circle on my art look we got high ground up here so this is my top process i see this dude running away and i see other homie to the right of us getting ready to cut across and they're gonna try and pinch us on top of this building with the storm coming i'm like i'm cool with that i already know the play that they want to do he's trying to peek from behind there so i'm i'm trying to tell him i'm like look hey let's go to the right the, the whole the whole idea is drop that zip, jump to the right, take out that Watson by itself. Because Watson's the one who's really doing all the work. So I'm like, bet, let's go. He goes nowhere. Sure enough, I get stuck right there and get double team. 